Hello and welcome. My name is Nilaus. This is the 11th episode of this uh, tutorial series. And this time we are going to look at plastic and sulfuric acids. So the petroleum products. In the previous uh, tutorial, I was looking very closely at how to generate some oil. And the reason to generate oil is almost certainly because you want plastic. And right down the lane from that, you want, uh, you want some sulfuric acid as well. So in this uh, episode, I'll be presenting a couple of blueprints that I have created. And I think they're actually, well, they are very efficient, but I also like the way they look. So let's uh, have a look at the plastic first. We have plastic is quite simple. Let's look at what it looks like here on paper first. And just let's start by putting some All right. So what is uh, interesting in this, I have decided that at this point, I want all my blueprints to be using using red belts. And in this case, I've also set in a substation, it really doesn't matter, you can also use it can actually be supported equally well by the normal stations, normal uh, power poles. But I just felt like it I just saw that it could fit exactly. So if we look at the, the amount being produced, it takes one coal and 20 petroleum gas. And it produces two plastic. So each of these machines have a crafting speed of 1.25. That's often forgotten, but quite important actually. That means each machine will output two and a half plastic per second. That's actually a surprisingly high amount. That's 10, 20, 30. Way too much. Way too much. The red belt can transport 26 and two thirds in one second. So this is actually overfilling a red belt, but I really want it to be overfilled because I don't want it to be sort of, if I skip the last two, then it would be 25 per second and 25 is not quite enough. And you'd see these gaps here and there. I don't like that. So let's, uh, I want to be able to see what's going on. So I'm putting this one in here. This is just for testing so that I can clear it and we can see this part of the track actually being completely full and then being empty as well. Let's hook it up. And oh, one more thing that's important. These may look a bit strange. The reason is that inserting or inserters will not be able to, to compress a belt fully because the way they insert the insert went whatever they come around and there might be small gaps that are too small for an item to be put in between and you need to squeeze it together. The way that's done is by inserting only into underground belts. And that's what I'm doing here. Every time I'm inserting, I'm inserting into underground belts here, for example, here, here as well. I'm inserting into underground belts with the exception of first one where the belt would be empty. That will guarantee that what comes out here will be fully compressed. Well, that wouldn't be the case if I just had a normal belt all the way. So let's hook it up and see what, the, what it looks like. And let's see. So the first day filling up, you can see actually the this could have been a yellow belt. A yellow belt of coal can su uh, support a red belt of plastic. However, that's not really, there's no point for me in, in giving blueprints with different color belts. You can see here, fully compressed and also it never really reaches the end of the belt. So it's not because it's it's jamming against the, the end. It's simply just a matter of, yeah, it's fully compressed, no gaps in there anywhere. It's uh, pleasing to look at. So there we have it. That's one red belt of plastic outputting. You can see these are working. So they're not completely redundant. They're working. They're not working all the time. Sometimes they will not be able to insert, but they, they do try it even here at the back of it because everyone gets a chance to insert. Very efficient. I will cut this one. So that's plastic, efficient plastic, how that's done. The next part that I would imagine is next on your wish list is Sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is a couple of step process. So let's, before I just dump it down, you can see here, it is a bit tricky because you can, in order to get sulfuric acid, you first need to get sulfur. And sulfur comes from water and petroleum. So two steps and also the, the ratios between them. So the ratio here is this produces one per two seconds and this requires five per one second. So you need actually five of these or two of these, right? Five to produce sulfur. That will be every second you will produce 10. And here you will have 
consumption will be uh, you have two of these so that's every every one second you will be consuming 10 again so that works and then remember that this is scaled by 1.25 so for each two of these we'll be we'll be consuming 12 and a half and that means on a red belt can support just barely but it will actually support 10 uh, sulfur crafter and four sulfuric acid crafter and that's exactly how i've created the blueprint let's see if we can hook it up somewhere i'll put it there that seems like a great place to put it we put a power pole in there as well it shouldn't be necessary right let's have a look at it and what it does this power pole is simply there just to hook it up and should not be part of the blueprint. It takes water in on the inner cycle. The reason why it's the inner is because it's also used here at the end. And that means these five or ten, five from each side, are inserting on the belt. Again, the principle is you only insert during... When you want to talk about close to compression of belts, you want to insert only on underground belts. Not necessarily in the beginning, but it becomes necessary. This also allowed me to just have normal power poles, uh, power everything. The only thing that is kind of impractical about this is the fact that these need iron. I could sort of bring iron in from both sides or I could bring it up from another side, but I've just decided for one set. There's also the possibility that you can do belt weaving in and out here. It's not as, it's almost, almost good, but it's, yeah, it's too much of a hassle to, to do it and you need more power poles. So let's uh, start by why are you turned the wrong way? Ah, that's because it's too far away. That's a pretty good reason. Learn to belts, thank you. And so that's just going up there. In the meantime, we will be hooking up the water and the petroleum. So that let's have a look at what's going on in the belt. You can see up here, this is a lot of it is going to be grabbed here and then these two will also be busy. So they are, the way you can see that it is not fully loaded. Uh, of course, I forgot one thing, that's, it will not work unless I actually put somewhere, some storage somewhere. Otherwise it'll run out way too fast. Now you can see this. And they are producing, just continually producing and they always have enough. So they are continually producing. Uh, also, the belt does not get fully jammed, and these are working pretty much all the time. So it's basically looking at sort of the, in in terms of capacity on the red belt. We are inputting 25 items per second, and it can carry 26.67. So it is very close to fully compressed uh, belt here, and it certainly keeps these four running quite smoothly without having lots of overproduction. And the great thing about this is, if you need more, you just stamp out another one. It's incredibly easy just to stamp it down. It's just, I mean, just look at it, right? This one is very easy. This one as well, also very easy. You can take one red belt for coal, and that can be fit into into two belts. Uh, and so if you want more plastic. Only thing you need to make sure of is that you have enough petroleum. So... That's uh, the two designs that I wanted to, to show you this time. And very efficient plastic and a very efficient sulfuric acid. And these are, yeah, they'll, they'll help you keep the base healthy. And they are easily mod they're modularized, so just scale them out as you need more. All right, so that's uh, that was a short little one here. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and a comment below. Also, if you are enjoying this type of content, go subscribe for more. And thank you for joining and see you next time. Bye.